Hey guys, I want to show you what I'm working on this morning. Today is about uh, June 16th. We're halfway through the month of June. Probably got another good 90 days in the growing season. So what I want to do is try some summer tomatoes. Uh, these are Arkansas Travelers. Supposed to be fairly heat tolerant. So um, we're going to try it, find out. This is the row that I saved uh, down beside the onions where I dug the potatoes up last week. I uh, saved this specifically to put a row of uh, tomatoes in here. Not really a good idea to follow tomatoes, you know, right behind potatoes, but didn't have anywhere else to put them, so we're going to try to make it work. Off to a good start so far. Got them in this deep furrow. Try to get them down there where uh, where the roots won't dry out so fast with the lack of rain because it's kind of going on up the hill a little bit right here. Here's my second flat. I started these about about three weeks ago, something like that, give or take. I don't remember exactly. And what I do is just take the shovel. I dig me out a hole, and I'm taking that uh, compost right there. Well, semi-compost. It's not fully composted yet. It's horse manure. It's about halfway through the process. Mixing that in with some of the soil and uh, sticking the tomato down in there. And the reason I didn't just go ahead and fill in the whole furrow with that stuff it's not fully composted. It's still got weed seeds in it. And I didn't want to put in more weed seeds down here than I, than I absolutely have to. So I'll show you real quick how I'm putting them in the ground. Alright, I got me a hole dug right there. I just dropped some of this compost in there. Take my worn out little hand spade deal right here. Mix it all in there real good. Just trying to get the compost mixed in with the soil. That'll give it a pretty good, pretty good uh, stuff to eat on for a little while. Keeps me from having to worry about fertilizing. Get it in this good uh, manure. And y'all already know how I feel about horse manure. That's some real good stuff. So we just. Get it mixed up in there real good. Get you a plant. I've, I'd like to have these a little bit bigger, but I really need to go ahead and get them in the ground. They'll grow faster in the ground than they will sit in that tray. And they're in peat cups. Now you can take this peat cup and set it in the ground. Um, they will break down. I've heard some people talk about how slow they degrade. So what I try to do, if the roots aren't coming out the outside, is go ahead and peel that top layer off and expose those roots. So when I put it down in the ground, the dirt's already right up against it. I can get the dirt uh, packed up to it real good and go ahead and grow. So just stick it in the ground, smooth it out, and I'll come back and water it in. We'll finish this row right here and see what we got. All right, I got everything in the ground. Ended up with 29 plants. That ought to be more than enough to find out what I want to know about this. Got them in some good soil, good compost around it. Got them watered in real good. I'll keep them watered through the summer, regardless of how hot and dry it gets. I'll make sure they stay watered, give them every opportunity in the world to do what they're supposed to. And while I was down here, I went ahead and watered my softballs. I mean onions. <laughs> They're still looking good. Anyway, we'll check back in a few weeks or so, see how these Arkansas travelers are doing. Probably gonna since I've only got one row down here, and I don't plan on watering this garden a whole lot because it's gonna have a lot of peas in it. Uh, what I'll do is maybe run a run some tea tape or a drip hose or something down this to keep it wet from the bottom up, and do everything I can to stop uh, any potential diseases. I'm gonna do everything possible to to make this work, and so that there's no uh, if it doesn't, uh, there won't be any excuses. I know not to mess with it anymore, especially this late in the year.